So, I've been playing around with FreeBSD a little since first showing it on the channel. It's been fun playing around with, so now I'm going to see how far I could push FreeBSD by using it as my daily driver for 7 days. This includes everything I would normally do on Linux, consume media, browse the web, edit videos and images, answer emails, the list goes on. I'm not allowed to use any other operating system, be it a friend's laptop or my girlfriend's computer, nothing. The only caveat I will add to this is that when I'm featuring another operating system on the channel, though unless that operating system is installed natively, the VM will be running on this FreeBSD host. The hardware this will all be running on is an AMD Ryzen 5 1600X and we have a Radeon RX 480. So I use a dual monitor setup as it suits my workflow and would feel limited without it. Out of the box it didn't recognise my graphics and only allowed me to mirror the displays. I installed a couple of packages and messed around with some comp files and got it to properly extend my desktop using both displays. Perfect. I've gone with GNOME as my desktop environment as this is the environment I feel most at home in. I've installed the dash to dock GNOME extension so everything else is pretty much left untouched. With dash to dock I can easily minimise and restore applications straight from the desktop. I've set it to dodge windows and it has dynamic transparency to match the top bar. As far as the other GNOME extensions go I'm a bit limited for now as the only easily installable from packages extensions available are what's shown on the screen here. From what I can tell anyways. Feel free to let me know in the comments. I've tried to get Chrome GNOME Shell to work so I can install additional extensions from my web browser but so far I've had no such luck. I've left the theming as default Adwata but we'll probably change that in a couple of days into the challenge. I've also installed the XFCE desktop environment just in case I get bored of staring at GNOME for 7 days and need to cleanse my visual palette. So for general productivity, an operating system needs to do what I consider essential tasks without having to do too many steps before achieving that goal. For editing videos for the channel, including this very video, I will use Caden Live, which is what I also use on Linux, so no changes there. Caden Live is a fairly simple to use video editor with some good default effects and transitions, and easily cut it up on the timeline and add effects as you go. Image editing will be handled with GIMP, not much needs to be said here, it's everyone's go-to Photoshop alternative and will do just fine. I'll use it mainly for images for videos and thumbnails for YouTube. Web browsing will be handled with Firefox, which is perfect as it handles Netflix and YouTube just fine. I'll also keep Chromium installed just in case I run into any strange issues with Firefox. For my word processing needs, I've installed the full Libra suite, but will mainly only be needing to make use of Writer. I will use this in conjunction with my Office 365 account web apps. LibreOffice can read and export Microsoft Office files, so this workflow should be just fine for the seven days. I'm using Evolution for my email needs, which is handy as that's what is supplied in the default GNOME installation for FreeBSD. The only problem with this is I use Office 365, so I'm unable to use the other features like sync tasks, calendars, notes, etc. I will use the web apps here to fill the gap. GNOME Calendar will fulfill my calendar as it's able to sync through the online accounts in my Google Calendar, so I can't pretend to know what time I'm supposed to be at work. I've installed the Terminator package as an alternative to the default GNOME terminal, which doesn't allow for transparency. I have binded this to Control Alt T. For media consumption, including videos and audio files, I will rely on the tried and tested VLC, which also allows me to subscribe to podcast feeds. All looking good so far. Well, I haven't mentioned gaming yet, so I'll need to look a bit more into it, but the limitations and options here makes me feel spoiled as a Linux user and the amount of games easily playable on the platform. So that's me all moved in and set up. The challenge will end in seven days from this upload. I'll film my experience including any obstacles and how, if at all, I've managed to overcome them. I'm expecting a few hurdles already, so let's see how we get on. This should be interesting, so thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to make sure you see how I get on.